Hello everyone, welcome back. The today video is about installation of project and set up the authentication. Okay, so uh, if you want to create the Laravel project, if you are uh, want to create the latest version of Laravel, you need to type composer create project Laravel and then you need to type your project name. And if you want to pull a specific project, then you need to uh, uh, provide here after this Laravel provide a equal sign and then uh, mention your version name uh, but if you are want to pull the latest version you don't need to mention any name so we are in the Laravel 9 so after uh, completing this command hit enter so it will create a project for you and uh, I open this project here and this is the Laravel 9 so let's come to our topic our topic is we are going to build a, a system where administrator and user can log in so i have opened this project in the text editor and let me configure my env file so i have created a simple database which uh, we don't have any uh, tables so let me copy this uh, env uh, uh, copy this database name and go to the env file and uh, paste this here right so we are going to connect our database uh, we are going to connect our application with the database so now the time is to uh, go to the terminal so i'm going to project terminal okay and opening this terminal here we need uh, admin system so laravel provide us a command to generate this system so how we can do this so let's there is a command of composer require laravel ui so we are going to do this through laravel ui so laravel provides you an, a variety of methods so you can use the jetstream or fortify and stuff like that but uh, i'm big fan of this laravel ui that's why i'm using this laravel ui so hit enter so it will install the laravel ui for us okay and after installation we need to uh, scaffold its uh, others uh, its, its uh, resources files so i'm going to do this in a minute okay this is done so what is the next command the next command is php artisan and then here you need to type ui bootstrap because we are going to use the bootstrap so if you are using view you need to type view or react ads stuff like that okay and then here you need to put double flag and uh, type auth and hit enter so it will scaffold and this for you okay so now our scaffolding is done so uh, we need to install the npm so before jumping to the installation you are uh, you need to install the node.js so i have already installed it so if you are not too familiar with this one you can go to the node.js website and get its uh, node.js latest version okay and download it and that's it you don't need to do anything it will uh, configure by default okay so here you need to type npm install so it will install the npm which is a node package manager so let me uh, retype again it's not uh, allowing me to do this here so let me uh, uh, configure my npm path uh, or i can install this uh, here so let me stop my terminal and install this type npm install hit enter and yes this command is going to work i don't know why it's not working here so let me exit it from there and uh, open this terminal here so it will install the npm for us and then uh, next one we need to uh, scuff, uh, make the uh, make this uh, npm uh, shut up here are the And next uh, we need to run npm run dev to execute these uh, files so then uh, our style sheets will be rendered okay so for now we don't have any laravel ui uh, laravel authentication system and it uh, says that uh, site can't be reached because we stopped this server here and we are installing the npm so let's wait for a moment or so i will come i will meet you after a few moments okay our npm is installed so now we need to type npm run dev hit enter 
okay so our uh, second command uh, command is also completed successfully so now we need to uh, repeat these uh, commands why because we did not edit this uh, save dev okay so let's go here and type again npm install so it will now install in a minute you know half a minute okay and then you need to type again npm run dev so wait for a moment so it's going to mix our style sheets and javascript files so it will also uh, tell it will also show us a notification that this is successful successfully mixed the style sheets and javascript files and yes it's compiling so if you are not familiar with this uh, laravel mixer file this one webpack.mix.js so basically it's uh, going to do this uh, resources uh, let me open this so it's in the js so app.js so it will uh, render this uh, resources.js inside this public folder okay wait for a moment to complete this command uh, it's, it will publish you uh, these files uh, it's in the CSS in the CSS uh, command is app dot uh, uh, file name is app dot CSS and then second one is app dot JS and this will also be created in the public uh, folder and inside the public there is a JS directory and in the JS and app dot JS directory will be created here. So why it's uh, it's going to create because we run this npm run dev it will be created and uh, wait for a moment to complete this process. And yes, it says that web, uh, Webpack compiled successfully. So this one is uh, compiled and let's go to the public. And yes, there is a CSS directory which contain the app.css, right? And uh, let's go to the public uh, again and go to the JS and then this app.js contain the JS. So you don't need to take care, take care about these uh, uh, CSS and JS. It uh, comes by default with this UI package, okay so our ui system our authentication system is installed so now we need to run our server here okay artisan serve and go to the project and reload it and yes our register and logins are there and yes these are properly working okay so now our login and register is successfully working and in the next video we are going to add a column in the migration so i will meet you in the next one bye bye